Which characters do you feel the most freedom with? The sweetest characters give me the most freedom. You know, in Tinka's New Dress, there were, there were two improv sections um, <clears throat> that were real improv, and there was a little character named Schnitzel who um, would tell the audience at some point near the end of the show, when the show was quite dark, too. It was about, you know, the Holocaust and the, the common good, the government that we always heard about. So this little want-to-be fairy character has tried crawling up the back curtain to see the face of God, and he sees my face, and then he realizes he's on strings and mortal, and looks out at the audience and um, confesses that he loves the audience. And in the many, many, many performances I did over eight years of Tinka's New Dress, there was only one audience where someone didn't yell back, I love you. And to have people who've paid that kind of money to go see adult theater sit in the theater and verbalize that they love a puppet character in the dark was amazing. And for me, playing the innocence and sweetness of that character, I wasn't expecting to get emotional, was magical to me. It, it means that somehow I leapt out into the audience and they were responding to that sweetness. Uh, that was the physical character, that was the context of the character, but was my voice and my improv. So that was really freeing for me because in those characters, and even in Penny Plain, which is behind us here, the softer characters who speak quietly or take pauses are the ones that have taught me to be a better actor, to take my time to trust, to trust that silence is okay in the theater. Because you are a fairly energized performer. Yeah, when I watch you in action, it's amazing yeah. the energy that pours and the voices that come. And it is like, you know, putting the brakes on, you know, because it is physical and you're always wondering about the voice and the, mm, and the chronic injury and the lugging the stuff around for two hours. So it, it's, it's just uh, like putting the brakes on to have that moment of breath and to have that moment of quiet and let the audience absorb a character. So for me, those are my favorites, but I've been playing villains since I was seven years old, you know. I mean, I always loved playing the big bad wolf and all the loud guys, and I did a melodrama for years, you know, with <coughs> Wretched Von Rotten, the villain, you know. Those are easy for me. I can, I can pull a villain out like that. 